Hello my friends, this time uh, I will show you how to update uh, iCross Desktop uh, uh, using the Live Updater utility. Uh, it's uh, also known as LUPD, so when uh, I talk about uh, LUPD I'm uh, actually talking about the Live Updater. Well, I have uh, just uh, downloaded uh, this uh, update package uh, which is uh, called uh, iCross Update uh, uh, 200 201 uh, Beta 1. Uh, this uh, beta is not available, actually publicly available. This is for beta tests only, but uh, uh, it's uh, mandatory to show you how to update uh, the distribution. Okay, uh, we can now see that uh, our version uh, is uh, actually 2.0 okay this is uh, just to prove that uh, the uh, updating utility actually works okay now I can go to the system disk uh, tools lapt live updater okay live updater then uh, we have uh, some options here. We have the file option uh, which uh, will uh, ask you to locate uh, an update package uh, zip file. The internet option uh, which will go uh, to iCross website uh, to look for uh, uh, update package and obviously the cancel option uh, to exit if uh, we are not sure about what you are doing. But uh, we are sure uh, to update uh, from a file so we We'll select file this time. Okay, I will uh, go to the downloads directory where I have put my file. I can choose it. Okay, and uh, all we have to do now is just wait. Let's wait. wait so let's speed up thing uh, just a moment okay now uh, there is a question that's an important question uh, I'm about to overwrite the old files. Uh, these are mainly f system files, but uh, there are may there may be also user settings uh, and uh, third-party application. Uh, so before updating, uh, please be sure you have a backup of them. So we click on continue, and well, uh, live updater will start uh, copying files. Uh, something that we'd uh, need uh, to do. Um, it would be really good uh, if uh, we exited uh, uh, Wanderer or uh, Directory Opus uh, and, uh, and start um, before uh, updating, but uh, this time we will uh, keep them open because uh, uh, they will help me making this video. It's going on. Okay. Now you have to reboot. We don't have uh, any CD or ISO connected uh, to the system, so we can click on the reboot option. Well, we are now booting iCross. Just wait. Okay. And let's see if everything went well. As we can see, we have no now a new version number which is uh, 2.0.1. 